All right, boys, what's good? We're back. Just my Overwatch. All right, technical difficulties. May or may not have had my account suspended for no fucking reason. So we're doing the tier list today. All right. Doomfist is the most annoying matchup. As you can see, we got three. The easy money kills. The slightly annoying, but you can get it done. The very annoying, but you can get it done. And then has me suicidal. These heroes have me on the ropes every time and i hate them you should know you should know she's gonna be here anyway let's get it let's go all right anna anna is super annoying if she is good and has protection if it is a mid anna it's whatever if she has good protection it can be a bit more annoying but it's more down to the anna skill she can hit the sleep darts that's a pain in the ass if she can hit the antis consistently that's a pain in the ass but if you can catch her lacking it's pretty pretty free because she hasn't got that much mobility but still it's the sleep that is the main kick in the nuts and because she is such a skill heavy hero in my opinion she doesn't have me on suicidal but she's very close ash 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 can be slightly annoying again on situations if she has a coach gun that can knock your punch of course which is annoying dynamite is annoying bob is hot and cute he's my favorite anime girl but bob is also annoying but he's also good for free ult charge so uh power punch charge even so it's whatever but overall you really shouldn't be having issues with ash baptiste see if it wasn't based on doomfist i would have him either on suicide or very annoying but baptiste isn't that bad because obviously normal baptiste has free health pools you have his base his regen and then his immortality his immortality you can punch him out of it his regen you can normally you can normally finish him off quick enough before he can pop it and then he has his jump but if you're good enough you you can typically punch him out the sky it's whatever the only really annoying thing about him is that he does a lot of damage but even then it's whatever this this little fucker bastion has me all kinds of fucked up right now i do not like bastion i like playing him but playing against him oh no just no Turret's good, grenade's good, his ult's mid, but he does so much damage, he just negates you. Anyway, my queen, my main, my Swedish dommy mommy, Brig. Brig is very annoying. She hasn't got me on suicidal, just because she doesn't have the shield bash. If she has ult, then it is suicide. But, you know, if she doesn't, ha now she doesn't have it. She's annoying, because she can boop you away. She can stun you by shield bashing into your punch. If she hits you, everyone's getting healed around you. It's a pain in the ass. But just because you can't shield bash, uh, shield stun all you all the time, it's not the end of the world. Cassidy. Fuck Cassidy. All my homies hate Cassidy. He has a roll, which he can roll up the way of your punches. 225 HP. He does good damage up close with Fan the Hammer. And that fucking grenade. Hindered is stupid. Hindered should not be an ability. And why is it hit like a predator? I'm not a predator. A hunter killer drone from Black Ops 2. If you know, you know daddy doom i may be biased but he's slightly annoying to fight this is purely to fight okay because it it really depends more on the team because two good dudes can kind of cancel each other out but if you have good teams around you which typically you're willing comp most of the time it kind of evens out you know his abilities if you catch him lacking about one it's free Diva, Diva's free. I love fighting Diva. Diva is the freest kill you're ever gonna get. I. Right. She has her matrix, but you can just punch through, shoot her in the head because she has quite a good hit, head hit box when she's stunned. Do a load of damage. You can't block the seismic. Her micro missiles charge up and power punch. She's great. We love Diva. Baby Diva's a bit more of a pain in the ass, but still, we love Diva. Echo. Echo is slightly annoying because realistically it's not my job to deal with her and with people like bastion really good soldiers really good Ilari's really good i'm gonna have other people to deal with her yeah her troubles are annoying but if you just block it just whatever it doesn't bother me genji genji's very annoying to deal with just because he's so unpredictable it's really frustrating because obviously he's doing the jump he's doing the double jump he's doing the wall climbs he's gonna do the dash it's just like go away and obviously it's blade is blade but yeah genji is annoying just because of the unpredictability hanzo now i don't want to know if i want to put him very annoying or slightly annoying because if you get him up close and personal eh he's not that bad but if you're playing him at a bit of range and he can hit shots he's annoying as fuck 
I'm gonna put him on annoying just because Doom has a bigger hitbox than most, I like to think. And obviously, you're only 450 HP, that headshot does like 240 damage. So if he hits you with two of those and like a punch, you're done. If he's got teammates around him, you're kind of fucked. But with the overhealth, it kind of cancels out. I, I don't know. I, I think I'll put him on very annoying just because of Storm Arrows to add on to his already strong ass damage. Ilari. Fuck Ilari. I fucking hate her. I. Her gun does 100 on headshot. She can push you away. Her healing does a lot for other people. Her healing pylon makes it impossible to kill shit. Fuck Ilari. And her ult can get fucked. I hate Ilari. Queen. Queen's, Queen's, nah, Queen's kind of annoying. The only annoying part about Queen is, is the pulling knife. Because you can block the swing, which is full charge. Like, yeah, she gets more HP when she shouts. You get more HP when you um, over health. Punch can negate her main bleed move. The only thing that is annoying, like I said, is the knife. Because she can pull you back when you're trying to peel. Which is whatever. Junkrat. Again, Junkrat's, Junkrat's slightly annoying. The only annoying thing about him is the trap. Because, I mean... He has to be a good Junkrat to hit a moving Doom, so yeah, that's whatever. He's whatever. Kiriko is same thing with Hanzo and Genji, but she's worse. She does good damage on headshots, she can wall climb, but the Suzu can also knock your punch off. But the worst thing is the fucking teleport, because oh, I have a low. No, bye. And yeah, GG's. Weaver is only annoying because of Petal Platform. Everything else, free. Lucio, Lucio is very annoying to deal with, he's fast, he can wall run, speed up his teammates to get away from you, just a pain in the ass. This bitch can burn in hell, fuck me. That wall is annoying, her slowing effect is annoying, she does good damage, she is annoying. Mercy, same thing, she can fly, she doesn't have to touch the ground. In the lower ranks like I'm in, because I suck, no one even tries to kill her half the time, it's annoying as fuck, she keeps teammates up, oh, I hate her. Moira! Moira's free, Moira's so free. Cause like, what, you, you dive in, you do damage, you punch her a bit, like you shoot her with your shotgun a little bit, she's gonna fade, after that, free. You punch her, she's done, you can punch her out of her ult, she's done, easy. Arissa, fucking Arissa can go number one. This isn't in order of annoyance in rank, but this bitch can burn in fucking hell. If you play Arissa, I hate you, okay? Enough said. Farah, eh, she's not even that annoying. If we don't have someone trying to kill her, it's kind of annoying, but Farah by herself is slightly annoying. Far of a Mercy is, has me suicidal, but Far on her own, she's fine. Ramatra, Ramatra's free. I like fighting Rams. He's blocking, punch him. You can run circles around him. Over health is very useful for fighting him. Uh, yeah, he's, he's whatever. Uh, Reaper is... Reaper's very annoying, just because he has the fade, which you can kind of predict, but he does so much damage up close, it's really hard to deal with sometimes. But yeah, he's whatever. Reinhard, Reinhard's free. Reinhard is easy money. We like fighting Reinhard because we just got more mobility than him. He, we, he can't stop us, it's great. So yeah, Reinhard's free. Peg. If... Hmm. I wouldn't say he has me suicidal just because you don't see him that much because he's ass. If he comes back to being good and he keeps his, after his reworking, they keep his hook, he's going to have me suicidal, but the hook is annoying as fuck, right? But just because you don't see him that much, I can't put him in suicidal. Like with Arissa, Bastion, Elari, you see him all the fucking time. It's annoying. Hog, you rarely see him because he's ass, so I can't put him in suicidal. Sigma, Sigma's, Sigma's slightly annoying just because of the rock. It's going to be a pain in the ass. Plus, obviously, if you keep trying to poke distance, he can kind of poke you down, but that's whatever. Soge. Sojin's free. Sojin's easy money. She's easy money. She doesn't have that great mobility. Just wait for her to slide and chance that you're just going to fuck her up. So, yeah, she's free money. Soldier. Soldier's just a slightly more annoying just because he can run. He can weave in and out of your punches. He can bait you all the time. He can heal himself. He's good at range. The helix rocket plus attack riser. But... At the end of the day, he's still 200 HP squishy. Like, meh, yeah, it's whatever. Sombra, fuck Sombra, I hate Sombra. She can burn in hell. She can burn in fucking hell. Enough said, you all know why. Sim is really fucking annoying if she has turrets up. If she doesn't, she's free, but every Sim player normally plays on the pole, which is the worst map to go against her with because she's overpowered, so she is very fucking annoying. 
Torb is slightly annoying purely because of the turret. Like, the turret's annoying as hell. But, yeah, uh, it's whatever. Tracer. Tracer is slightly annoying as well, to be fair. Just because she's hard to kill, but it's really, it's a really good duel. And when you kill her, it feels like the cinematic where it's like doing fist fighting Genji, Winton, and Tracer. You know, where Tracer's blipping around. And he's just kind of standing there, waiting for it, and then just fucking out of nowhere, just, pfft, just rips a chrono accelerator off. That shit is gangster. Doing that has me feeling like that. Widow, Widow's free. Widow is easy money. If you get close to Widow, freest fucking kill of your life. When done. I'd also say Winton's free. Because, like, you both, like, his jump is on five seconds. Your seismic is on six seconds or seven seconds, one or two. So you can both chase each other, which is quite fun. Uh, obviously, you create over health. He doesn't. Uh, he charges up your empowered punch quite a good amount. Obviously, if you punch him against the wall, he's only like 500 HP. Ding some headshots because he's got a fat head. It's pretty fucking easy. If you're getting rolled by a Winter, and especially down in the metal ranks like I am, you got a problem. Boo! Ball is really fucking annoying just because he has that mobility, but I like these heroes like Arissa negates me, Bastion negates me, negates, 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 all that shit. He doesn't really negate any of your abilities. It's just, it's hard to keep him in one spot at a time. Uh, we'll save Zarya for last. Zarya. Same thing with Zarya. She's really fucking annoying. If she's got no charge, she's fine. But she's fully charged up. Bubbled up. Fuck her. And then this little prick. He can burn in hell with the rest of them. Fuck these heroes up here. These heroes are okay, right? If you if I lose these heroes, I can respect that it is what it is. But these heroes? Go fuck yourself. I'll see you boys later. Also, actually, before I leave. Before I leave. Big up, 82 subs, I appreciate that. Keep her going. Love you, bye.